In this beautiful setting, in a very special house, a most unusual dating experiment is about to take place. We want to answer the age-old question, is love blind? Can we find true love based on personality alone? Do looks really matter? Hi, I'm Laura Dundevic and welcome to Dating in the Dark. Three single men and three single women will share this beautiful house. The girls living on the top floor. Hi! The boys downstairs. Say goodbye to bachelorhood. With no chance of meeting each other, except in the dark room. Behind these light sealed doors, this is what they'll see. <laughs> so dark. But this is what we can see using special infrared cameras. Can you see your hand in front of your face? I can't see it at try, all. Try. I don't know if I should kiss you or not, because it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> and go as hard as you like. After a series of dates with each other, they'll choose the one partner they'd like to see revealed. Heart was racing, adrenaline pumping. How will they react to the harsh light of reality? She's not the type of girl I'd normally go for. He wasn't what I was expecting. Will the connection they found in the dark... <gasps> oh my God! Oh my God, what? ...be lost when the lights are turned on? Find out... Oh my God! ...on Dating in the Dark. My name's Carly, I'm 21. I'm studying to be a science and math teacher and I'm a promo girl. I think I'm single because people always assume that I'm a dumb blonde, that I'm like a hairdresser or something. I think people sort of judge me on the way I look. But then when they get to know me, I, uh, they realise I'm studying med science, I'm at uni. My name's Raylene, I'm 19 and I study marketing. I do meet guys, that's the thing, I just can't keep them. I'm good at dating, but I think after when it gets to like the fifth date, you're kind of just like, what do I do now? So I want like a guy to be like, proud to be like, yeah, this is my girlfriend. Hi! How you doing? Hey, you doing? I'm Carly. I'm Ray. <laughs> my name is Ashley, I'm 19, and I'm studying at uni to be a paramedic. I think I'm single because I intimidate a lot of boys by being tall. I'm six foot and they just look at me and think, oh my God, she's too tall. And they just don't approach me, ever. Ah! <laughs> Hello. Wow, <laughs> what is that? Cello. Cello. That's so cool. Hi, I'm Carly. I want someone who's not arrogant and actually, you know, talks. So how long have you been single for? A while. <laughs> <That's> a while. <laughs> um, April, I guess. Mm -hmm, that's cool. Yeah. What about you? I've gone through like little relationships. Little oh, relationships. so you have time. lots of boyfriends and stuff. Yeah, but like, yeah, I can never keep them, so <laughs> never keep them. Cheers. Cheers to dating in the dark. Cheers to finding a boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> My name's JP, I'm 21 and I'm a labourer. This experiment intrigues me because I've slept with 50 girls, which is a fair few. My friends call me a man whore. I'm not a player, I'm just looking for the right girl. Not bad. My name is Jesse, I'm 23 years old and I'm a waiter bartender. I'm really into adrenaline sports, anything that gets your heart racing, jumping out of planes, riding motorbikes, going fast in cars. I'm looking for a fun, outgoing girlfriend that can be my best friend. I am genuinely looking for a relationship out of this experience, hopefully love. We'll have to see what comes of it, but definitely prepared. Jesse. J JP, nice to meet you, man. You too, man. My name's Jimmy, I'm 19 and I'm a cocktail bartender. Girls normally describe my appearance as being cute. It's, it's not what I want to hear, because cute to me is I just want to be friends. I'm really excited about meeting a girl in the dark. It's important for me to find a girl that I can introduce to my family and mum. <laughs> Jimmy. Jesse. Nice to meet you. JP. Nice to meet you, man. Sweet view. Yeah, not bad. So you excited? Yeah. You? Yeah, very excited. Hoping to meet. Nice babe. Beach babe. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, are you looking for? Oh, well, you know, six foot, brown hair, 
supermodel. How about you, Jesse? Me. It doesn't really matter what exactly what she looks like, just as long as we get along and we have fun together and we like the same things and we look good together. Hi, hey girls. Hi. Hi. I'm Laura and welcome to your new home. Uh, as you can see, we've brought you to a pretty spectacular location here and we're hoping that you'll find true love. So you're probably wondering where the boys are at this point. They're in an apartment downstairs and that's where they're going to stay. So the only chance you'll get to see them is in the dating room, so it'll be in the pitch black. So it means you get to test that theory of whether true love really is blind. Now, it's time for your first date, so it's not too scary for you. We're going to send you all in as a group. Well, cool. good luck <laughs> and have fun. Thanks. Thank you. I'm really excited. I think it's going to be great fun. Um, good group of girls with us. Hopefully the guys are cool, so it's going to be good. I'm so excited about the first group date. I can't wait. Chair. You got a chair? chair? Yeah. When you walk into the dark room, it is pitch black and it's so dark. You cannot see like your hand in front of your face. It is amazing. Where's oh. the table? Okay. Okay, the table. Oh, that's the table. Uh, with the percussions. Uh, that was my idea. They're gonna laugh so hard at this. Okay. Cushion two. Oh, I, I, I'm, I'm lost. I thought it'd be really cool just to like break the ice. Wait, where do they sit? So I've got to be. Really... I did dead silence, so they don't know we're in here. Okay. Shh. 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 No laughing. Okay. Okay. Quiet. Quiet. Oh. Hello? Oh my god. Oh, this is so fucking cushion. Girls played a bit of a practical joke on us. Whoopy cushions on the chairs. We broke the ice and gave us all a bit of a laugh, and it's just a perfect setting to set off the darkroom. How are we, girls? Oh, good. Yeah. How are you guys? How are you? I'm Jesse on the right. I'm famous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jimmy on the left. I'm JP. My name is Ashley. Um, I'm Carly. I'm in the middle. I'm Raylene, but Ray for short. <laughs> what do you guys do for fun? Like, do you have like sport, hobbies? Uh, anything that gets a heart beating, I absolutely love. Thanks. Skydiving, just bought myself a new mountain bike. I've played basketball since I was like 12. I think Jesse is really outgoing and he likes a lot of things that I do. For fun, I play a lot of sport too. I play netball twice a week, touch, swimming, I run every morning. I'm in an orchestra, which is kind of lame, but it's really, really fun. And I've got like two... Sorry, what's an orchestra? You don't know what an orchestra is? <laughs> no, no. Can I like put my hand out and slap you across no, the face? <laughs> um, what do I do for fun? Oh, I'm pretty boring. I love playing with my puppy. That's probably... Uh -huh. One of my favourite things, we go to the beach together. I've actually taught him how to hug you, so like, Aww. you pat on your chest and he puts his arms on your shoulders and like, comes in for a hug. So yeah. That's so cute. I would be looking for someone that I could spend an entire day, like, in bed watching movies with, spooning the entire day, Aww. eating baked goods. <laughs> JP seems like a real sweetheart and I'm a sucker for sweet guys. For fun, I like meeting people. When I finish work, we go out and boogie and um, <laughs> go, on, go on the D floor and yeah, bust some moves. I like to go out a lot, like I go out a lot and I drink a lot of oh. beer. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, I love going out, it's just what I do for fun really. So you like dancing as well? Yeah, I love dancing. You, you good at it? Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to learn the single ladies dance from Beyonce. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm not there yet, really. Right, right. I'm picturing you having endless amounts of energy. Yes. Yep. <laughs> nice meeting you I'm all. I'm going to try and high five. Bye. 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 That was so weird. <laughs> my eyes are like stuff. Like my I'm eyes like walking around like feeling for everything. I think I tripped over that many times. You kept kicking me. Which girl? Uh, probably probably, I, probably ask Carly. Just see what happens there. Feeling any of the girls? Just kind of feeling Carly. She definitely had a sexy voice. Definitely. 
either JP, because I like JP how he's like, I like to snuggle, like I love being hugged. <laughs> There's nothing better than being hugged. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> cool. Yeah, but like the sporty side of Jesse, so I don't know, maybe if I could morph them together, we'd have like a yeah. cool Yeah. Like, like a Do you like any of them? Yeah. Who? Hey. Um, I felt like I connected with Ray Ray. I just had this sense that she got lots of energy. She seemed like real bubbly and fun and I could just sense something in her voice that I liked. Like I do. I think I like the third one. Like Jimmy. Yeah, yeah he was kinda cool. He's like, so into you. I don't think so. Yeah, yes. Oh, yes. I can't wait to see what happens next. Coming up. Good, how are you? The first round of one on one dates begins. And some full-on <laughs> questions reveal answers you would never expect. Yeah. I describe myself as being a half virgin. Half virgin? Yeah. <laughs> in this house, three guys and three girls are taking part in a unique dating experiment. <laughs> you guys are just disgusting. They're all hoping to find love, but will need to do so in the dark. To help our boys and girls get to know their prospective partners a little better, we've asked them all to swap a favourite personal item. Just another clue in helping them find their ideal date. And the boys had three items waiting for them. Some shoes, a camera and a basket. What's this? Oh. <laughs> Carly brought a python. Kind of says she's a little bit dangerous and she's a little bit feisty. That's what I'm looking for. Not every person has a, a snake in there. I've got a snake in their basket. It's a different kind of snake. They call it a trouser snake. Ha <laughs> 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 Whose heels are they? Ray Ray's. Those are very big heels. Like it looks like she's got a bit of style. So she obviously would go out until the sunrise, maybe. Just assuming. It shows that she dresses up, she, she likes going out, having fun. Uh-oh. Oh, oh yay! <laughs> what is that? Oh my god, it's a holy bible. Is it really? I'm not kidding. Jimmy is very religious. I was like, oh my god. He is really religious. It's cute though, like it, it does show a lot of um, integrity. He's kind of like a family boy and yeah. like he's not going to be one of these Tr bags. Trashy douchebags that yeah. treats people like crap. Yes. Yeah. But yeah, it was no, it was cute. <laughs> What's that? Can I look at that? It's Jesse's. Oh, tattoos. Tattoos. Yeah, I love tattoos. Yeah. I think it means he's really adventurous, he like outgoing. I don't think my mind's changed. I'm set on Jesse. Yeah. <laughs> And the camera, what's that have on it? Ashley's got a few different photos. It looks like she's been to a lot of different places. She goes out, obviously. She's got photos of nightclubs. No, I'm not sort of thing that I take photos of. I love seeing the world rather than by the looks of it. Just looks like a bit of a bit of Australia. Well, I was on the fence between Jesse and JP, but I think this might have made me be more keen on JP. Just the active side of it. I think the boxing gloves say that JP is really active and really fit and loves his sport, so it's definitely a positive. It's kind of cool that we're all kind of set on one person, though. Mm. Tattoo, Jesse. Jesse. Bye, all. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the boxing gloves. With the contestants starting to get a clearer picture of who might be their perfect partner, invites were sent for the first one-on-one -on -one dates. First up, Jesse invited Carly. Creepy if I just don't say anything. Hi. Okay, it's creepy. Where are you? The... This is a couch. Yeah, I'll move over. How are we? Oh, uh, nervous. I think this is a bit more nerve wracking because the others aren't here. As long as you can talk. Yeah, I can talk. I Good. like talking. Yeah, I can always talk about anything. <laughs> I could talk about poo on the ground and I'd, I'd make it interesting to. Talk about what? Poo on the ground. I could make poo it Poo on the ground. Yeah. So did you, like, can I ask you, like, who you were going to pick before you saw the items? Because I was, like, on the fence between you and JP, and then... Then you just, you fell over that side of the fence, not my side. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's all right, don't be sorry. <laughs> still want to get to know you. I hope you're not, like, hurt by that. Not at all. He's a really nice guy. I know Ash is so into Jesse, so I wish them the best on their date. See ya, nice talking to you. Nice talking to you too. Oh, it opens this way. We just didn't gel it as well as I thought we would. My date with Carly, out of 10, I'd probably give it a four. What's she like?